Nothing quite beats the anticipation of the opening of the hockey season. And for the Toronto Marlies, that happens Saturday at 1 o'clock right here at the Rico Coliseum against the Utica Comets. The Marlies coming off a fantastic year last year in which they won the regular season title. 54 wins. What a season. But it's a brand new slate as far as the coaching staff is concerned. A lot of new players in the lineup and a good opportunity to get prepared for this game coming up on Saturday afternoon. We've had, a, we've had a busy week, obviously getting our guys and our environment here for the first time. And we've had the luxury of, of them being a few, uh, few weeks here of the, of the structure and whatnot that they got from the Maple Leafs. So, and you know, that helps us get ahead of the game. But we still want to get a handle on how we want to do things here. And, and the development side of it, too, is, is an important thing. So we've been spending time with guys on a number of different areas. Uh, this week so today was just more of a special teams and a little more of how we want to play five on five and, and some real keys to the identity that we want to have. Well the Marlies fell short of course as we all know in their bid for the Calder Cup last season but uh, on the team that eventually won the Calder Cup the Lake Erie Monsters was Kirby Reichel. This is a player, American player, born in Torrance, California but grew up in Tecumseh, Ontario and played for the Barry Colts into the Columbus Blue Jackets organization and uh, found himself over here in a trade. Scott Harrington went that way in a fifth round pick and Kirby Reichel came this way and now finds himself with the Toronto Marley. Yeah, I see a guy that's really motivated. I think he's excited about the fresh opportunity here with the Maple Leafs and, and with the Marlies. Uh, I had a meeting with him this morning. I know he's, like I say, really motivated. He's got a clear head. Uh, and he's ready to just, to just get out and find his game. He was a really high-profile player coming out of junior, and I know firsthand just how hard he was to play against, uh, coaching against him in junior hockey. Uh, so he's going to be an important piece for us as well with the type of uh, forward group that we have this year. Uh, it's a young group, and, and he's certainly still a young guy, but he's a big body. He's got a good presence there. He's great around the net. He's a physical presence. So a lot of good things to like about him, both for us and for the Leafs. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's a fresh start, and... Um... You know, it's been uh, you know a long summer, and you know I'm ready to get going here. Do you set a set of goals for yourself, or you just start jumping in and and you know letting the team do that for you? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, obviously, you know, you go into camp and you want to make the big club, but um, you know that didn't happen, and you know you kind of just need to take a couple of days and reset, and um, you know come in with the right uh, frame of mind, and um, you know be the best player you can be, uh, you know, every day for the Marlies. The mental side of this game, sometimes uh, obviously tough. It's, it hasn't been a straight line for you necessarily. So, you know, how do you, is that as tough as the physical side of this game? Yeah, it's tough, but I mean, um, you know, I think you, get, you learn to deal with it, um, you know, especially coming in out of junior, you know, 20 years old and you're going up and down. It, you know, it's definitely, it definitely takes a toll on you, but, um, you know, over the years, you, uh, you know, like I said, get used to it and, um, you know, come to the rank every day at the right frame of mind and work as hard as you can. What have you found about the Marlies and Sheldon so far in, in the short time you've been here? Yeah, it's a first class organization. I mean, uh, there's no excuses and, um, you know, they have all the resources that you could you know, possibly think of and even more. So uh, it's a good opportunity for all the young guys. Do, do you find that do the, the, you know, the depth of resources here, the, the extra coaching, the player development stuff uh, that, that you can reach and, and kind of take as much as you can from that? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's so helpful. Um, you know, they said they didn't want to give the players any excuses not to succeed, and, um, you know, I think, uh, you know, they've definitely done that. Well, October in the American Hockey League is always a bit of a get-to-know-you part of the season. There aren't as many games as they jam in in January, February, March, but uh, there certainly are some exciting ones. The Utica Comets, divisional rivals of the Toronto Marlies, are first up with two games, and then they'll be off to Rochester next weekend, come back, play Manitoba a couple of times. The only time that they will play out of conference this season are the Manitoba Moose. And then, of course, they'll play the Providence Bruins later this month as well. For tickets, 416-597-PUCK or marleys.ca.